Good evening and welcome. You're watching Breaking Views, the show where we get you all the views so that you get the complete picture. I'm Sanjeev. Lots of things have happened in Parliament today. Lots of developments that have happened in Parliament. So far, it was opposition MPs who were being suspended for creating a ruckus. Today, government's MPs created a ruckus, and they questioned Adi Ranjan Chaudhary for calling the Rashtrapati, which is the president, Rashtrapatni. So what he did is that he thought that because she is a woman, she is a lady, uh, it should be Patni and not Pati. At least that's the explanation that he has given. The BJP feels that no, he knew pretty well what he was doing. He just wanted to insult the president. But on the sidelines, as this was playing out, a battle between Sonia Gandhi and Smriti Irani also happened. Uh, both sides accusing one another that uh, you heckled our leader. So on this show, we are asking five big questions. Question number one: Sonia versus Smriti. Who has heckled whom? Because it's one person's word against the other. Question number two: Erring Adhir, is this a genuine mistake or a deliberate attempt to insult the president? What the BJP is saying is that you know there is a history, a Congress spokesperson saying that she belongs to an uh, evil ideology. Tejasvi Yadav saying that she will be a rubber stamp president. So the BJP says that this is just a continuation of that same insult which is being heaped on the president, the new president, and thus insulting a woman tribal president. Question number three: Twenty-seven opposition MPs have been suspended. Is this a crackdown on the opposition itself? Something that we have been debating on the show: an opposition mukt parliament. Where you will have no opposition, and then you can continue debating on price rise. There will be no one to object. Next question, question four: Will BJP's MPs also be suspended for creating ruckus in Parliament today? You see, if you apply a yardstick that opposition MPs were creating a ruckus, and thus they are being suspended today, the BJP MPs, sitting ministers, created a ruckus. Extend the same logic. Will BJP MPs also be suspended? If they are not, then there will be a political question which will be asked. And question number five, which is the biggest of all, is this a complete breakdown of opposition government relations, relations between the Treasury benches and the opposition benches in Parliament? Those are the five big questions. And thus, uh, on the show, we ask a very simple question. Now the government is stalling Parliament. Erring Adhir and high voltage hangama over a Sonia Smithy spat. Up to 27. That's the list of the MPs, perhaps the highest ever in a session, who have been suspended. Will the government also act against its own, who disrupted the house, applying the same yardstick that they applied to the opposition MPs? Let's now quickly welcome all our guests this evening. Dr. Ami Ben Yagnik, Rajya Sabha MP of the Congress Party. Sanjay Jha is a political analyst. Shamim Rahmani, a TMC supporter. Asif Hamla, spokesperson of the BJP, and Akshay Marathe is a spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party because many of the Aam Aadmi Party MPs have also been suspended. Dr. Ami Yagnik, I want to begin with you first and ask you this question: uh, You know who heckled whom? And we do not know because it is your word against the BJP's word, where the BJP is saying that uh, uh, Sonia Gandhi was extremely rough with Smriti Irani, and she said, "You don't talk to me," and that is no way to talk to a uh, to a sitting minister, to an MP from a ruling party. So let me first ask you the first question: Who heckled whom? Sakit, first of all, I really object to the word heckle. Whoever has brought in the uh, debate or the word the heckled, I think uh, when Sonia Ji started going out of the house because the house got adjourned because of some ruckus, and so when she slogans were raised against her, she just turned back and came inside and was talking to a senior uh, member of the BJP, Mrs. Rama Devi, and uh, she said that why they are taking my name. and uh, that is how she had initiated i mean talked to uh, the senior person and while she was to, just asking i think 
the minister of women and child development just came rushing and uh, might have barged in and said that may i help you and she said that i am not speaking to you i'm uh, she, while she was talking so anyone any in any conversation if i am talking to you and speaking to you somebody just comes and says and i would just say please i'm talking to her and not you and if that is what you say heckling and she then just started raising slogans and you saw what is uh, being shown all the time that clip the way she spoke uh, as a senior minister especially for women and child development and the way she has spoken uh, about the honorable uh, president of our country well she has won she is sitting uh, honorable president of the uh, country and so where is the question of heckling if sonia ji has politely told her that i am not speaking to you where is the question of the word heckle and is this the way you talk to a senior member of the uh, parliament uh, forget about parties but uh, what i am seeing is is this the respect you give to any person of any party is this the way you treat people who are senior to you and you just come with those expressions you make you mm. just look at the way the women and child uh, develop minister has spoken does it okay. i mean look at the way i'm i'm, I'm shocked that all the women of the country are also looking at her even the uh, 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 people in the parliament house i mean there is no question of heckling and i have seen never in the worst of the circumstances and worst of allegations being hurled at sonia ji okay never now now i'm going to ask my next question see so you, you see there are you there are five always seen as a very there are five questions over here dignified person my I next think. question dr ami ben yagnik is an erring adhiranjan choudhury is this a genuine mistake that he has made or is this deliberate bjp and that's where it all started the bjp says that this is deliberate he has had a history of abusing the prime minister of senior leaders of the bjp and he has done the same deliberately that a person okay. as senior as adhir ranjan choudhury will definitely know the difference between rashtrapati and no, rashtrapatni he is he is he is a senior member and for whatever he has spoken he has said that it was a slip of tongue by mistake and he has apologized that is the first thing now with that in mind and keeping that uh, statement aside you know the circumstances in uh, 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 circumstances where he was asked this question we were all marching towards the rashtrapati bhavan with a letter and a navedan patra to give it to the honorable president and we started from the parliament house we crossed the vijay chowk we were all stopped there and all the cameras and all the media people were there and maybe they asked where are you going towards where are you marching towards and he said that we are going to a rashtrapati house he said that we are going to the rashtrapati house we are going to give and by slip of tongue at that time where would there be any deliberation where is the time even a split second to think of what question would come and what i should think and what i should speak i mean i am thinking as a neutral person <coughs> right now that where is the question of deliberation he said that by slip of tongue it has happened he is not used to speaking he is coming from west bengal uh, in hindi but well even having said that he said that i am apologizing i am sorry he said that and so where is the question of having any deliberate see let me tell you the bjp has made up its mind to speak whatever that comes to their mind they always bring about all kinds of different angular statements in anything anyone else outside the bjp speaks so i think to attach any importance to what the bjp thinks right now uh, when now there we are come to the issues are like galore in uh, the asif country asif bamla your response yes, of the I bjp i think it's not proper uh, asif bamla the point is is the bjp or is the government which by the way obstructed the functioning of the very same house which you felt was not functioning because of the opposition so today the government obstructed the functioning of the house so do you feel that you are making a mountain out of a mole hill yeah this is what uh, uh, adi ranjan choudhury did mention so you're repeating the same thing anyways thank you for that but let me come back to two issues now the first issue is the the running of the parliament now let me tell you this that this parliament session runs the monsoon session runs till the 50 till the 18th of august if i'm not mistaken and this has been told to uh, to the parliamentarians that this issue the minute the finance minister approaches this will be the first issue to be taken this is not a party or a parliament which only discusses scams after scams and corruption after corruption which happened in the, in the, during the upa regime now let me tell you this and if let me tell you that this uh, this issue 
uh, the the way it has been handled it, 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 this is not the way you 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 you, you there, there are ways to express your, your yourself and, and and after that if you're suspended where are you going you're going outside the statue you know uh, of my question no yeah, no, no, no. My question I'm, I'm is that. that will the government apply the same yardstick to itself or to its functionaries who are now protesting and obstructing the functioning of the house the same no, that they, you applied to the opposition. You see, yeah, you the, see the this kind, is the, in the no, history the, 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 of the Indian for what? This is the they third highest okay, I'm suspension. Asking you. I'm, I'm asking you. The obstruction is for what? The, the, the president of India, and this is not the first time. Earlier also, they have insulted her. In fact, they Sir, went to Mr. the Mr. extent Ramla, of saying my point that, is, a selection, that a selection every represents... MP no, let, let me, let me come or uh, every uh, party will Sanket, think that I their reason is the most genuine. Their reason is the best. Don't let me submit. So I don't know. I mean, you, you speak more than me. So then I think it's better you represent this debate. Her selection represents evil philosophy. Sandeep Dixit had earlier said that Sarakka Gunda, Tu Chai Bech, are these, are, these, are these statements that could be pelted on constitutionally elected posts and positions? Have some sense of responsibility. You're not speaking about, uh, you see, this has been triggered the day our presidential nominee has been nominated. You see, the problem is that Inco, uh, they don't care for the Adivasis. They don't have any respect for the Mahidas. Okay. And forget that. That is fine. That is one aspect of it. Okay, Today, very what quickly. No, no, let me end it. Today, what did they do outside the parliament, outside the Mahatma's, uh, Mahatma's statue? If you want to do the Mahatma Ji, you want to do the Mahatma Ji, you want to संजय झा आई थिंग इज ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑपोजिशन एम पीज है थर्ड हाइएस्ट एवर इन नाइनटीन एटी नाइन सिक्सटी थ्री एम पीज वर सस्पेंडेड इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन 45 were suspended so uh, and since then they've been 18 12 8 but 27 mps so far and we do not know how much this will be because the session is still the 12th of august so if there are more suspensions i don't know maybe we may beat the score of 1989 do you feel that this is a crackdown on the opposition that you'll raise your voice you'll be suspended undoubtedly uh, uh, sanket i think first of all as an aam aadmi party spokesperson i want to say that we did not have anything to do with today's ruckus in parliament the two two me me between congress and bjp about personal egos and bruised egos of individuals <laughs> is not what the parliament is for the parliament is for raising issues of ordinary people who these mps are actually representing in the parliament Three of our MPs, three of our Aadmi Party MPs, have been suspended, including Mr. Sanjay Singh, Sandeep Pathak, Sushil Gupta ji, for raising a very pertinent question to the government of the day. And just think about it, Sanket. We are we are talking about individual egos bruised here. In this current week itself, seventy-five people have died in Gujarat from consuming spurious liquor in a state that is run by the BJP for twenty-five years as a prohibition state. now what is so wrong in aam aadmi party mps raising this issue in parliament and demanding a suspension of business note uh, discussion is this not adequate enough an emergency that in a country where 75 people are dying out of uh, uh, drinking spurious liquor the, the country's parliament should take note and formulate a strategy to counter this kind of corrupt uh, practice in gujarat that is resulting in the deaths of ordinary people why is it that the bjp has to resort to suspending mps who are demanding such a basic thing does the bjp not care about the dignity and the lives of these poor people who are dying in their state why is it that it is suspending mps left right and center for demanding something as basic as a discussion on an issue like this what are we asking for we are asking for just two things one a discussion in parliament and two that the bjp chief minister in gujarat Uh, Mr Bhupendra Patel resign over this issue or at least uh, come out and uh, declare what action is being taken neither is the state government in Gujarat taking any action nor is the central government uh, uh, run by the BJP taking any action where is the ordinary person supposed to go today if not the parliament the parliament is the uh, you know the the premier institution where issues of national importance are to be discussed and if mps are not being allowed to discuss these issues 
then tell me where are we supposed to go where are uh, uh, you know people supposed to take their problems to okay. and this is a question that the bjp needs to answer that if the parliament is not being allowed to function in the way that the founding fathers uh, have envisioned where the opposition uses it as a platform to ask questions of the government what is the point of running the parliament what is the point of running this farce of uh, uh, an institution just shut it down and you know get done with it what is the use of the, uh, this democracy if the bjp is not letting people ans- ask very simple questions of the government of the day okay uh, sanjay jha where do you stand on this you do you feel that the parliament now unfortunately is a place for bruised egos uh you speak against me suspended i will say this you said that you raised your finger what does this have to say for that fifth question let's put out question number 5 in our list of questions is this a complete complete and absolute breakdown as far as opposition government relations in parliament relations between the treasury and the opposition benches complete breakdown uh sanket i think india is polarized in the complete sense of the term uh if you witness the entire parliamentary conduct today i want to be very unambiguous on your show for the uncouth uncivilized and in my opinion uncultured behavior in parliament i hold the bjp singularly responsible the bjp is in government they are in power they have over 300 mps in the lok sabha you know there is a certain dignity and grace that indian politics once had and i think i'll agree with what marathe akshay marathe was mentioning at a time when india has got several burning issues look at what we are reduced to discussing and i want to just tell this to my bjp friend here that you know when when you guys talk about women empowerment and the dignity of women it sounds so self righteous sanctimonious balderdash and hypocritical fraud that i need to tell you mr bamla that putting the price tag on a woman and this happened to be by the way the late wife of a very senior colleague of mine happens to be dr sashi tharoor calling somebody a 50 crore girlfriend happened to be a very popular leader from your party calling mrs gandhi a congress ka vidwa happened to be a very famous name from your party calling mrs gandhi a jersey cow and i believe this is the kind of language most crude and vulgar yeah, and happened to be by the way was a very good finish, language let me finish i didn't interrupt you i didn't interrupt you mr bamla happened to be the former chief minister of gujarat and today india's prime minister so when your party today behaves in the manner in which it does actually i am not surprised you know my my uh, my friend maybe uh, the congress spokesperson here of the show may be appalled i am not because my expectations from the bjp sanket are zero nothing surprises me about the bjp they are crude vulgar they will polarize anything and today in suspending opposition mps you are actually demonstrating your authoritarian culture your autocratic mindset and the fact that ultimately you are nothing but a you know what i call as a paragon of the arrogance of power and one day that power goes let me assure you of that okay asif yeah. bamla you are right to reply and then ami ben yagnik no, no uh, my my very good friend uh, sanjay ji i would like to also rebut uh, with due respect shashi has been a very dear friend of both of us but okay. coming back to uh, the uh, coming back to the issue that you raised there are uh, the first of all the, the the first issue first for uh, uh, for the for the uh, for the mahila the pratham nagrik uh, election that happened the your it was your congress parliamentarians who mentioned that representing evil philosophy of india do you say that for a for a uh, mahila who is reached from panchayat to parliament like this do you represent that is this the way you talk you talk about cultures and etiquette okay i mean okay you 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 have a right to uh, pull up things if, if if we do if we are on the wrong side of the fence the, the you have you have not you have not spared the military chief called him a sarak ka gunja gunda by sandeep dikshit You have said Nali ka kira to the honourable prime minister. No, uh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah, no, 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 no. Let me come to you. You have said two chai bech. My, my point no, is so, that so, so, no is one this, can be sanctimonious about does someone this, else's. Does this, Does this bad language? If this suits your genre, then I'm sorry. Then we are we are we are we are worse than you. Then if that suits your genre, then just quick okay. response and then I'll be done. But I I okay. don't I don't see this is how you. Okay. This I don't see how this is okay. okay. And even today's house, 
Let me tell you, it is it is the yeah, one by one. I'm running out no, of time, please. It is the treasury. I have heard you. It is the treasury and the opposition both. Uh, the responsibility to run the house and the decorum of the house, and that's more important. I think you should know that, okay. Sanjay Jha. Okay, okay. Uh, Sanjay Jha, quickly, and uh, then uh, Ami Ben Yagme. Sanjay, I think it's about time when we are discussing political conduct. Nobody is above board, not even the Prime Minister of India. And I remember watching a debate in the Lok Sabha where Prime Minister Modi actually referred to my colleague Renuka Chaudhary in the most demeaning fashion. Mentioning a character from Ramayan, Supranekha, and I'm sure he's aware of it. Try trying to talk about her nose being cut. I mean, this is the kind of leadership you demonstrate. You know what they say that a country becomes like the leader it has, the Babla, and that's the truth. Okay, very quickly, Ami Ben Yagnik, do you feel that there is still a way that the parliament can function normally, or are we going to break the 1989 record of 63 suspensions? Saket, the gover it is the onus of the on the government to run the parliament, and this has been said time and again, even by their own leaders, late Arun Jaitley ji and Sushma Swaraj ji, when they disrupted and they said uh, all kinds of things. We said that they let the parliament run, but you can see what is happening today. Nobody can raise a question. Nobody can ask a question. From the opposition, any party, if any question is asked, and if the rule is followed, a procedure is followed to bring in a notice, to bring any discussion, the issues are of the people of this country, not of the opposition leaders. They are the issues of the country. The discussion is not allowed, debate is not allowed, okay. and a ruckus follows. And so that is the only way okay. we can ask the honourable chairperson to please let us speak. But okay. you can see that the ruckus is created. Sure, the BJP, sure. The BJP now tomorrow will be another day, and then we'll have a few more weeks, and let's see what happens. Manner. But the point is, the manner in which this monsoon session is going, it does not leave a very, very good taste in the mouth as far as the people are concerned. You want the house to function smoothly; it is the responsibility of all. If the government also starts protesting. God save us. Let's quickly take a look. Thank you very much to all of you all. Let's quickly take a look at what all happened today in Parliament. Mafi Mango is justice. Mafi Mango is going to attend the Adivasi House. Escalating bitterness between the government and the opposition now leading to unprecedented exchanges between the 75-year-old Congress President Sonia Gandhi and the minister who defeated her son Rahul Gandhi in Amethi, Smriti Irani, where slogans were chanted first against Sonia Gandhi. and then matters got worse at the center of it was the congress leader in the lok sabha odiranjan choudhury who in a tv interview called president draupadi murmu rashtrapatni a slip of the tongue is what he said achanak ek baat nikal chuki hai to main kya karu ek baar nikal chuke hai sirf ek baar to ek baar ye chuk hui hai by default but smriti irani and nirmala sitaraman along with women bjp mps led demands in both houses for sonia gandhi to apologize for his remarks which they said denigrated the president as a woman and as a tribal congress party adivasi mahila ka ye samman pacha nahi pa rahi the word rashtrapati stands equally for both woman and man this is a common knowledge in hindi or in sanskrit it's a deliberate sexist abuse speaking to ndtv sonia gandhi said that odiranjan choudhury had already apologized for his remarks apologize the situation deteriorated when sonia gandhi walked over to the bjp mp rama devi to convey to her his apology smriti irani then rushed in when sonia gandhi told her don't talk to me so what exactly happened sonia gandhi went across to the bjp's rama devi the congress says that smriti irani came pointing a finger saying how dare you don't behave like this this is not your party office The BJP says that Smriti Irani came and said, "Ma'am, may I help you? I had taken your name." The Congress says Sonia Gandhi responded, "I'm not speaking to you." The BJP version, Sonia Gandhi said, "Don't talk to me." The Congress version, Smriti Irani joined by BJP male MPs in heckling Mrs. Gandhi. The BJP says MPs from both sides came and sloganeering started. For Sonia Gandhi and Smriti Irani, it's personal. After the Congress alleged. that smriti irani's daughter used influence to get an illegal restaurant license and that smriti irani filed a legal case bjp male mps also rushed in felt threatened that shrimati sonia gandhi herself came up to probably one of our very senior members rama devi ji to find out 
and one of the member of our parliament, our people, members, approached there and she said, you don't talk to me, as though putting, a, putting the member of parliament down. In the house. क्या हुआ क्या नाम आपके पास चलता रही थी ये बात कहने के लिए क्या हुआ भाई आप क्या जानना चाहते हो क्या हुआ था क्योंकि बहुत कुछ नहीं हुआ वो पूछी कि मेरा नाम क्यों बोला जा रहा है आपको पता नहीं कि आप आप जिसको नेता बना कर रखी हो किस तरह का बात बोला है पूछे उससे जाकर और जब इस बात जाए तो उनको क्या हुआ फिर आपस में क्या नहीं हुआ वो जब कहीं कथी कि इनको पता नहीं है कि क्या क्या भूल गया है वो राष्ट्रपति को राष्ट्रपति ने कहा ये नहीं समझ में आया है a traumatic and scary experience for Sonia Gandhi, the Congress and Trinamool MPs. Today, we have seen a very dangerous situation in the people of Sonia Gandhi. I haven't heard her to the best of my knowledge. I did, uh, Sonia ji did tell me uh, that she had gone to speak to uh, uh, Rama Devi ji. And when I went, Sonia ji wasn't talking to anybody. I requested her and we both, with a few of many of my other uh, women colleagues were there. Gaurav Gobai was there. A whole lot was there. Some from the, op I mean, both sides, there were a lot of MPs. Emotions were very, very high. And I think uh, we just left. The motion is adopted. This on a day, the upper house suspended three more opposition MPs, taking the number of suspended members in both houses to 27. Amid the high wall drama in parliament on Thursday, sources say both government and opposition parties have agreed for a discussion on price race issue on Monday in Lok Sabha and on Tuesday in Raj Sabha. With camera person Ashwini Mehra, this is Aravind Gunaseka for NDTV.